Just like the seasons, trends come and go. Winter is coming. And as a dropshipper, if you want to stay profitable, then you need to make sure that you're offering products that are popular or trending year round. The new year is in a few months. <laughs> Right now is the time that you need to start stocking up your store with products that are going to be trending throughout the entire year of 2024. So if you want to learn how to stay profitable throughout the entire year of 2024, then make sure you check out this video all the way through because in it, we're going to be explaining some of the best niches that you can start selling in your Amazon store. Now, everyone knows that when it comes to dropshipping on Amazon, Amazon can be a little bit iffy about it. They're not extremely dropshipper friendly, but dropshipping on Amazon is definitely a possibility. And if you want to learn more about how to do that, then just make sure you hit that subscribe button because on this channel we talk about how you can succeed in the dropshipping business whether you're dropshipping on amazon ebay etsy or your own store such as shopify wix or woocommerce we make it easy for you to get started dropshipping and to succeed so if that's something that interests you just make sure you hit that subscribe button so first and foremost let's go ahead and get started with understanding what exactly is a niche well simply put a niche is a specialized segment of a particular market. So as dropshippers, we have a bunch of different categories that we can dropship. So we can sell items in the jewelry category, or we can sell items in the fashion and accessories category. And those two are niches. While we can still call them categories, they're also niches. It's the same thing. Also, when you're selling these kinds of products or these different types of niches, you're also targeting a specific demographic of customers. So while one niched customer base will like a particular product, a different one won't. So let's say you're niching down to the fashion accessories market. If you're starting to sell to that particular demographic, of people, you're not going to be offering them things like electronics. You're not going to offer them headphones or anything like that because that's not what they're interested in. That's not what they're looking for. That niche market is looking for fashion accessories. Now, when you're actually considering all of the different niches for you to start selling, there are a few different criteria that you should be on the lookout for. For one, you want to make sure that the quality in that particular niche is always of high quality. You want to make sure that everything that you sell is going to be good quality products because if you don't, that's going to end up with people returning the products or just asking for a chargeback. Also, you want to make sure that that niche is affordable. You want to be able to make a good profit and you want to make sure that the products that you're selling are not overpriced. Another really big thing that you want to look out for are different suppliers. You want to make sure that there's enough suppliers within that niche for you to be able to source your different products from. On top of that, you also want to make sure that there's enough products in that niche as well. You don't want to niche down too narrow where you don't have any products to offer or a very limited number of products to offer. While niching down can be a very good thing for you because you can target a particular demographic of people. If you niche down too much, if you get too specific with what you're selling, then you can accidentally start to exclude too many people and you won't have enough people to be able to sell to. Now, how can we start to look for best selling niches for our Amazon store? Well, there's quite a few different ways. For one, you can just simply check out the best seller section over at amazon.com. Here you can find what most people are looking for. This is what's currently trending and what most people are searching for whenever they hit up the Amazon website. Another option that you have is the TikTok ad spy tool. Now for this, you do need an account over at autods.com. And if you want to get started with that right now, you can start your trial for just $1. But what this does is pretty much just give you a bunch of different TikTok ads that are currently running with some trending products. So once you sign on to your account over at autods.com, just click on over here where it says the TikTok spy and you're going to be prompted with tons of different videos. And when I say tons, I mean tons. Now, one great feature about this is the fact that you can filter out your results. So let's say you're looking to see what's trending on Amazon or just overall what's trending in a particular niche. So what I would do here is simply filter out by likes, look for something that's pretty popular, maybe more than 50,000 likes. And then when it comes to impressions, I can just leave that as is. CTA button, I wanna go with shop now or order now. You can try either one of these two, or you could just leave it blank and get a little bit of everything. Then if you wanna see if it's an organic ad versus a paid ad, you can also switch that over. Typically, I'll go for the advertising, make sure that it's an actual ad that's currently being advertised. And if I was looking for a particular niche, so if I wanted to look for jewelry and see what was trending in that category, I could just type that in through here. But right now I'm actually looking for a niche. So let's go ahead and check that out. So here we have a few different ads that are currently running. So you have something for some dumplings, something for some food. So food could be a pretty good niche. Maybe you could sell kitchen items. This video right here that has 72,000 likes. Let's see what it's about. What the hell is that shape? All right, we're doing. Okay, so it's about nails. So then this is probably a product that has to do with the beauty niche or the fashion accessories niche, something along those lines. Here you can see that actually has quite a good amount of impressions. Over 1.2 million people have seen this ad. Aside from that, it has some pretty good likes, 72,000, 250 comments, and 409 shares. Again, I don't really know too much about nails or anything in this category, but I do know that this belongs to a very popular niche. And that could be health and beauty, health and wellness, 
fashion accessories maybe. But going back to the TikTok ad spy, as you can see, there's tons of other ads that you can start to look through and you can see what's currently trending and what's actually popular and what people are searching for. When you're looking through different TikTok ads, or even if you're just on TikTok itself and you're scrolling through your feed, if you come across a product and you see that it has a lot of likes, a lot of comments, a lot of interactions, then that could potentially be a bestseller. What more social proof do you need than a trending video on such a huge platform like TikTok? If a particular product on there is trending, then chances are you can make some money off of that product. Now, aside from that, you can also use one of my favorite tools, Google Trends. Google Trends can help you anticipate trends that are coming up for particular niches. So right now we're actually at the Google Trends website and let's look up the swimsuit niche. So I looked up swimsuits and by default, it's gonna give you the past days search results. That's not what we're looking for. I like to go for five years. So what you're looking for here is how many people are searching for, for this particular search term. So right now, since we looked up swimsuits, we're gonna see when the search term is most popular on Google. So as you can see, there's absolutely nothing around October, which is pretty much what we're in right now, but it starts climbing around November or December and it peaks right at June, which is pretty much peak swimsuit season right in the middle of summer. Then a little bit after that, towards the end, around July, around the beginning, middle of July, it starts to completely dip. So sales pretty much just stop. Then as you can see the next year, it started to pick up around the same time, around April, peaks around June, then goes down. Same thing for the year afterwards in 2021 and for 2022 and 2023. So as you can see, the best time to start selling these swimsuits, not just like there are niches that you really need to start selling right now to make some pretty good profits. There's also some niches that you really should completely avoid. And some of those are gonna include copyright items. So let's say one of my favorite niches, the anime niche. While that is an extremely trending niche, there are a lot of items in that particular niche that you should not be selling. So for example, some of those things would include items based off of current brands or shows. So I personally like the show called Attack on Titan or Demon Slayer, but I'm not allowed to sell any products from those two shows. Anything that I sell in the anime niche has to be 100% original. So there are always gonna be a lot of different products that you can sell that are original work or original products or original items. But aside from that, also you don't wanna sell age restricted items. So things that are specifically only for people that are 18 or older, stay away from that. Also make sure to stay away from dangerous goods. So anything that could pose a threat to anybody, do not sell that. And another thing that you want to stay away from when it comes to niche items on Amazon is medication and supplements. Now I've seen a lot of supplements on Amazon. I've seen a lot of pills, a lot of fish oils, a lot of fat burners, a lot of pretty much anything. Stay away from those products. While they can make you some pretty good money, they can also land you in some pretty hot water, especially if you're making bold claims about certain products or what they can do. Also, you never know if somebody could be allergic to a particular ingredient in your supplements. It, it's best to avoid that. If the extremely unfortunate event happens where somebody has an allergic or adverse reaction to one of your supplements, then you could possibly get sued. And that is extremely troublesome. You really wanna avoid something like that. So just stay away from that category or that niche altogether. Now, with that being said, let's go ahead and start to cover the best 11 niches that you can start selling in your Amazon store for 2024. Now, before we do get started with that list, I do wanna let you all know that if you want everything that I'm talking about in an easy to reference cheat sheet, along with all of the different links that I'm gonna be covering, then make sure you go ahead and comment down below, hashtag Amazon dropshipping, and let me know which one of these niches is your favorite. Once I see that you went ahead and did that, I'll go ahead and reply back with a link to the cheat sheet. So the first niche we're gonna cover is the skincare and self care products. Now this niche has been extremely in demand for quite some time and it's something that's going to stay in demand and it's always going to be trending. This is what you call an evergreen niche. This is something that the hype is not going to die down. People are always going to be into the self care. Everyone's going to want to better themselves and ultimately be better at the end of the day. So when it comes to the self care niche, this is something that is always going to be trending. So you do not have to worry about the hype on this going down. Now when it comes to this niche, some of the more popular items that you can offer are going to include things like skincare headbands, acne pimple patches, green tea masks, jade rollers, and collagen lip masks. Also, as a quick tip, a lot of the people that are into this niche or a lot of the people that purchase items within this niche typically have some sort of skincare routine. And when somebody has a skincare routine, that means they probably have a lot of other products that can help them out with whatever they're trying to do. So it's a really good idea to be able to offer some of these different products in bundles or sets, or maybe even buy one, get ones. Maybe you can offer something along the lines of spend over $50 and receive a free bag, you know, maybe a bag to put all of your different accessories or brushes or whatever it is inside of. Doing this can really help increase your average order value, 
on top of have some higher customer satisfaction. This niche is also an evergreen niche and it is the pet supplies niche. Now, when it comes to pets, trust me when I say that people see them as their own kids. People absolutely love their pets and they don't mind spending the extra money to be able to offer them their comfort or make sure that they're having fun or just overall happy. When it comes to the pets market, you have practically an endless amount of products for the simple fact that there's almost an endless amount of different types of pets that you can have. So don't worry about any shortage of products. And a lot of these different products are constantly being repurchased so dog food always being resupplied dog toys always breaking so people have to replace them betting for a reptile terrarium always needs to be replaced so this is a very evergreen market that's always going to have repeat customers and that's one really good thing to have repeat customers can help us have a steady income each and every month now in the pet supplies niche some of the best products that you can start offering can include the pet hair remover dog poop bags which trust me you can sell a lot of those dog travel water bottles, a cat window bed and a donut pet bed. Now, one awesome thing about the pet niche is that some of the products are interchangeable between pets. So if you have a pet bed for a dog, you can also offer that for a cat. This next niche is one of my personal favorites, and that is the gaming niche. Now, when it comes to gaming, it has grown exponentially ever since the 90s and early 2000s. Back then, video games used to be for just nerds and geeks. But nowadays, pretty much anyone is into gaming. People love playing on the computer. People love playing consoles. So because of that, gaming accessories are on the rise. Some of the more popular items in this niche can include a gaming headset, an LED mouse pad, an LED keyboard, a wireless mouse, or a headset holder. Next up, we have home decor. Now, who doesn't want to spruce up their living space? Nowadays, people are spending time at home more than ever. So because of that, people like to spruce it up a little bit, make it a little bit more lively, and ultimately just make it more comfortable to be at home. Now, some of the more popular items in this niche can include floor lamps, essential oil diffusers, wall art prints, decorative pillow covers, and key holders. This next niche is one that's been ramping up ever since we were all on lockdown. Every year, year after year, this niche continues to grow. This is probably one of the more evergreen niches that you're gonna find, and that is baby products. People are popping out babies left and right every single day. Tons of babies are born every single day, which means people are going to be spending a lot of money and more and more money as the years come on baby products. Now, when it comes to people's kids, trust me when I say parents will spare no expense in making sure that their kids are comfortable and healthy. Now, some of the more popular items that you can offer here can include teething toys, because when kids start to teeth, it is a mess. They start to get super frantic and parents are always looking for something to help soothe their aching gums. You can also offer diaper bag backpacks, a baby plush bathrobe, a play floor mat, and a silicone chew spoon set. Now, when you're offering these different types of products for babies, you always wanna make sure that you get the highest possible quality items. You don't wanna offer low quality items because if you do, parents are not gonna shop at your store again. Make sure that everything you offer is baby safe. Some of these different items could potentially pose a risk to the child, and that is a big no-no. So always make sure that you're offering high quality items. Our next niche is going to be kitchen supplies. Now, I'm pretty sure that we all know, but everything has gotten so much more expensive. And with that includes eating out. So most people nowadays are starting to not eat out. They're not ordering any more food and they're saving up the majority of their money. So because of that, now more than ever, people are starting to cook at home. Now, some of the best products that you can offer in this niche can include kitchen cutting boards, under the sink organizers, which I think I actually need one of those because if you check under my sink, it is a total mess. Everything's just thrown around everywhere. So I actually think I'm gonna get one of those kitchen organizers pretty soon. Kitchen knife sets with a block are also something that are always in high demand because a lot of times people don't like the knives that they have or they get really old or they just can't be sharpened anymore. So they just look for something new. And you can also offer measuring cups and spoon sets. I don't know about you, but me personally, whenever I try to eye a measurement, it never works out just look at the fucking mess in here now this next niche is one that every single person gets into at the beginning of every single year and we're talking about those new year's resolutioners with the fitness niche now when it comes to the fitness niche as i said it is extremely popular at the beginning of the year but it's also something that's popular throughout the entire year because at the end of the day a lot of people really care about their health now when it comes to the fitness niche there is an immense amount of products that you can offer for both men and women and primarily for the majority of these they're unisex so they can be interchanged between both now some products can be specifically geared towards women while others can be specifically specifically geared towards men, but starting off some of the best products that you can offer in this niche, we have the Crossback Sports Bra. Now, of course, this is gonna be for women, but then we also have workout bands, shaker bottles, 
running belts, and workout gloves. Those, of course, can be interchanged and marketed towards both men and women. Now, there is no shortage of fitness equipment or fitness accessories on Amazon. So when you're offering these, try to offer as many variations as you can. Try to be specific. And if you can, try upselling or offering some sort of free gift with their purchase. Cell phone accessories is up next, and I'm pretty sure at one point or another, every single person watching this video has gone on Amazon to purchase either a phone cable or a phone case, or even a screen protector. People are always trading their phones, they're getting new phones, so new accessories are always coming out. This is a very evergreen market that changes pretty much every single year. Products are always updated, technology is always enhanced, so there's always something new to be able to offer. And on top of that, there's so many different types of cell phones out there that the varieties you can offer are absolutely endless. Now, some of the more popular items you can offer within this niche are gonna include a phone desk stand, a cell phone ring holder, a tripod or selfie stick, especially for those content creators, a cell phone holder for your car, and a universal cell phone lanyard. This next niche is something that people purchase either every single day, every single week, or every single month. Office supplies are an extremely evergreen niche that are constantly being resupplied. Take for example, office paper. People print tons of different papers. People are always printing documents, especially somewhere like, let's say, a law firm. They're constantly printing, so they're also going to constantly be repurchasing the same items over and over and over. Before I give you some of the best products to sell in this niche, I'm going to give you one huge tip that can really help you start getting some good sales. So start looking up different businesses on Google. See what's local or see what's across the country in a couple of different states or a couple of different cities. Look up different businesses such as printing companies or law firms, companies that seem like they could do a lot of printing or like they could use a lot of office supplies and reach out to them. Send them an email, see if you can come up with a custom offer for them, so that way they can choose you over their current supplier. If you can land a few of these different accounts, then you're probably gonna be set for quite a while because businesses are always resupplying these different products. As I mentioned earlier, copy paper is just one of the items that are always selling. A few other items that they're always purchasing can include line sticky notes, desk file organizers, paper clips, and cord organizers. Next up we have jewelry and watches. And this is a pretty high ticket niche. Most of the products that you're gonna find in this niche are gonna be high ticket, meaning you can sell them for some pretty good profits, but you can also offer some lower priced items so you can cater to pretty much anybody. One awesome thing about this niche is the fact that people sometimes, whenever they purchase, let's say a watch, they don't purchase just a watch. A lot of the times they're gonna purchase a watch and possibly a matching set of earrings or a matching bracelet or even a matching ring. This niche in particular is perfect year round for the simple fact that people love receiving jewelry and watches and they love giving them as gifts. So this niche can do very well year round. Now, some of the more popular items that you can offer in this particular category can include a travel jewelry organizer, a smart waterproof watch, gold earring sets, huggy hoop earring sets, and adjustable sterling silver rings. Now, this last niche that we're gonna cover is also one that's evergreen. It's perfect year round, and it also goes with our fitness niche, and that is sports and outdoors. Remember I mentioned earlier that people are spending more and more times indoors and at their homes, especially since they're working from home? Well, because of that, a lot of the times, especially either after work or during the weekends, people want to get out. People want to go outside, enjoy the day. And because of that, sports and outdoors is an evergreen niche that's constantly trending. People are always buying things in this particular niche. Now, the different types of items that you can offer from this niche can offer widely, but some of the more popular items can include a waterproof lighter, reusable travel utensils, a microfiber travel towel, camping cutting board, and water shoes. And those were some of the best niches that you can start selling right now to be profitable in 2024. Was this list what you were expecting or were you expecting something else? Let me know down in the comments below. I wanna hear what your thoughts are on this. Remember, if you want access to the cheat sheet with all of the different links and information I provided in this video, make sure to go ahead and comment down below, hashtag Amazon dropshipping, and let me know which one of these different niches was your favorite. Once I see that you went ahead and did that, I'll reply back with a link to the cheat sheet. I wanna thank each and every one of you, especially if you made it all the way to the end of the video. That really tells me that you're enjoying these videos and you're finding some sort of value. And if you are, please make sure you hit that like button. And while you're there, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos.